Hello everyone and welcome back to Resident Evil 3 Remake. This is episode 3. Last time we were about to get onto the subway but we got chased down by Nemesis throughout like the sewer system and all this kind of stuff. Um, Hunter Gammas ate us many many times. Uh, the sewers are not a nice welcoming environment whatsoever. Um, and then we also had a little fight with Nemesis on the rooftop where we did manage to take him down for now. Um, we met up with uh, with Kendo at the, at the gun store. We all know why he's here from the events of Resident Evil 2 and we've picked up the key uh, to go around the corner. I wonder if we can knock on the door. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so he's... He's chillin'. And he's gonna stay there until Leon and Ada... Um... Until Leon and Ada find him. Okay. Oh, wow. How good's that as a visual? That's so good. So that's where we came from. Obviously, we can see that we've got uh, Raccoon City Police Department right here as well. Interestingly enough, um, interestingly enough, I I feel in the original game, um, in the original sequence of events, that we went into the we went into the RPD like pretty soon into the beginning of the game. But we're going, we're going right past it. So I wonder if we'll, I wonder if we'll end up going through the police department. Maybe I might be remembering it wrong, but I was pretty sure that you go into RPD like quite soon, right? Because that's the first, that's the first encounter with uh, with Nemesis in the original game. Yeah, that's like right at the beginning. You have the encounter with Nemesis, and you sprint and run into. Um, the RPD, but instead, Brad just gets bit and holds the line uh, against some random zombies instead of um, being somewhere else, you know, in front of RPD. Very, very bizarre, right? Oh, hello. I really let that man crawl all the way up upon me. Mount me and no, and and do it again, and do it again. I really let him do it twice. I really thought he would stay on the fucking ground. Fucking oh shit! Um, oh, I'm, I'm pissed off. <laughs> oh, for God's sake! I don't know why I did that. I was like, oh, I'll knife him while he's down and hopefully it'll like knock him back so he'll stay down. Didn't, uh, didn't work, by the way. That's not how that works. <laughs> Wasted a healing item right away when I didn't need to, so that's just fucking stupid of me. Where are we? Oh, it's one of you. Oh. <laughs> uh, hello. Whoa. Hello. If you could just... If you could... Stop. I fucking hate these things. Fuck you, you piece of shit. Fucking... God. Fuck it. Open your fucking eyeball next time. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Necessarily, I'm not asking for a tentacle to go down my goddamn throat. I did enough of that when I went to the bug hive and I got th fucking tongue shoved down my throat without my permission. Raccoon time, reader's column. Let's read the news. That's how I like to de stress after having a tentacle zombie whip me in the face. Dear editor, I'm writing to you because I am troubled, deeply troubled. Anyone who's been a parent knows that Crystal Promenade is the place to take your kids for a trip downtown on Saturdays, and there's no store more popular or harder on a parent's wallet than Toy Uncle. However, 
I've noticed that on windy days, the big statue above the entrance wobbles, like the only thing holding it up is a couple of screws. If that statue head tumbles loose on a busy day, children will be badly hurt. I've complained to the manager three times now, but he just isn't willing to rectify the situation. Are we supposed to wait for a terrible accident to happen before taking action? No. If heads are going to roll, then let it be the managers. Take that death trap down. Timothy Wiles. 69. Nice. Alright, so... We need to push a statue down on Crystal Promenade. So we can do something about Toy Uncle. And I can throw away that key in my inventory now. Delightful. Explosive rounds, nice. I put my grenade launcher away because I was considering, you know, I'm of the impression that I'd much rather be saving that one. Oh, a butterfly collector, nice. I'll be saving the grenade launcher for some for another scenario that involves probably Nemesis. Hello, where are we? Okay, looking good. No items in this place for us to pick up. That's nice. It's too quiet though. <laughs> it's too quiet. Oh good. Oh good. Just, just the, just the laser-sided rocket launcher. Just the laser-sided rocket launcher. That rocket went through my body. Jill, please. <gasps> Fuck this guy. Keep keep your rocket launcher. Keep your distance. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Joe, get a go. <laughs> Is this a bad time to call? Monsters on my ass! <laughs> How many fucking... Do you have to reload this thing ever? This is classic Resident Evil camp. <laughs> All right. The toy store. He just gives up. Oh. Uh, that segment felt super weird. Like that segment felt super weird. Like he just stands. Like, sometimes he sprints up against us, but then other times he's like, here's my infinite ammo rocket launcher, and he just... I'll just shoot you from a distance. And then, somehow that rocket... <laughs> yeets us over here. And then... He doesn't pursue. That feels, feels super weird. So Resident Evil 3 Remake is so different to the original, then. Um, which is such a weird comparison, considering Resident Evil 2 Remake um, is so, so much like the original. Um, which was a thing that people, like, really loved about it. You there? I think I know how to slow that fucker down. Head back towards the station. And lead him right to you? It's okay. Trust me. Like, people, people really loved the, the remake of, of 2. You know, so I think I feel like it's really quite bizarre for them to like to, when they come to the Resident Evil Three remake. They're like, "Hey guys, what did they? What did everyone love about RE Two remake?" They're like, "They loved how like cool and close it was to the original, but with expanded sections. Cool. What should we do for Resident Evil Three remake? Change the scenario. <laughs> it's playing out like so very differently right now. Uh, Jim's crab is on fire. Oh, we're not okay." Moon's Donuts, we're not going back that way again. So, ah, I see. I see. 
Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Can I? Let me head back this way because there's a red, a red zone over here. Hold on. I'm missing something. I'm missing something on this rooftop. How? Can I get? Is there something over here, maybe? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe... I assume maybe... If you go... Well, that's blocked off. I'm just trying to see... If I'd be potentially able to get back to this area or not, if I move, so I'm just because I did that box. That's fine. I can't get back up there. Um. Okay, this area is red. I must be able to get like over. Must be something over the other side, right? I think there's like a staircase or something. All right. So I just saw red and I was like, I need to backtrack and see. But okay. And we only have one way to go up here. Toy uncle. All right. So we need to do something with the statue. Oh, never mind. <laughs> because Nemesis is doing it for us. What the fuck? No fucking oh, shit! Oh my fucking god! All right, rest in peace. You're you dead. Oh, <laughs> uh, Nemesis has really good comedic timing. He should do stand up. I'm like, it's too quiet. Drops in with a rocket launcher. Hmm, we need to do something about that toy store. Here, let me just fucking blow it up for you. Thanks, Nemesis. He's got my back. He's he's given us all the entertainment today. <laughs> okay, so the Toy Uncle statue head is going to Indiana Jones its way down the staircase. Um, so I'm assuming we need to just run off to the side there and let it roll down. So let's try that again. Fuck's sake, bro. BAM! <laughs> How did he know to shoot this thing? Come on, Jill. Come on, Jill. Come on, Jill. Why is it rolling like that? <laughs> Fuck's sake, bro. WHOA! STORES! Alright, Chief. I get it. Um, well, fuck, I don't need to do anything here. I just need to get back to the subway station. So I'll just run back to the subway station. Please don't let there be a zombie here. Oh, no. Hey, hey, what the fuck? Where the fuck is that? Unrealistic movement standards. Oh, stop it. Oh, Jill. Carlos! I keep getting smacked in the face! Oh, it's the gas station! So, did nobody tell you not to shoot fucking rockets at a gas station? Nobody gave you the memo, huh? Oh, the Claymore! <laughs> you okay? You gotta watch out for those, boy. Holy shit, look at his face! He is so fucking beautifully designed. Carlos, no! Nice. Nice, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Holy shit. Best thing about this game, 100%, has got to be how Nemesis looks. Like, that's really good. They nailed it for, uh, for his appearance. We made it to the subway station. Carlos, I know we didn't get off to a great start, but thanks for the save. Hey, you saved my ass first. You're a hell of a lot braver than me. 
Well, what matters is that we can get everyone out of the city now. Yeah. Now you'll be safe. Now the supply case. Um, okay. Gotcha. What's up here? Isn't there like a item box and shit up here? Yes. No typewriter. Um, cool. This is what I saved my green herbs for, dude. Um, oh yeah. Uh, and then. May as well combine those together, but I'll store that as well. Um, I probably should make some. You know what? I will. So I probably should make some more shotgun shells. And then those make more explosive rounds. And we've got 10 explosive rounds already, so I might save those to make flame rounds. At a later date. There we go. We're doing okay. Had a, had a weird, bit of a weird start. But it's okay. Alright, Carlos, what's up? What about you? Not from the sound of it. I won't be catching the train. Why not? No, there'll be new orders. There'll be new orders. How do we get there? How do we get to that supply case? If it means I can help save the city, it's fine by me. Alright, Chief. And now we're back, once again. Good work. Your reputation is well deserved. Get inside, the subway's about to leave. Carlos, Tyrell, you have your orders. You need to go back out into the city and find Nathaniel Bart. This isn't the last ride out of town, right? Do not worry. Once the civilians are safe, the train will be back. It's all right, you're going ahead. I'm not gonna die on you, leave you in a cold, cruel, Carlosless world. Okay. <laughs> You'll need to find this scientist. His vaccine research could save us all. You see? You're learning. The only life that matters is your own. All right, Nikolai. Let's go. Nikolai seems like a fine gentleman. We can definitely trust him. He's a good guy. You don't really think a pencil pusher like Bart is still alive, do you? I have it on good authority. Why? Are you worried about teammates? Or something else? Funny how brainless zombies can ambush a platoon like that. Funny the gate was locked. Don't you think? <laughs> what was that? Nikolai's instantly leaving. Holy oh, fuck, dude. This fucker not dead yet! Get fucking hell, bro. Yeah. Nikolai's like, see ya. I'm out. Oh, I see a bomb. Nikolai, oh. what are you doing? It's not after me. <laughs> Nikolai! He's a great guy. Get off my train. Shit, bird! Dude, holy shit. <laughs> Get off my train, shitbird. I have also have terrible Russian accent. <laughs> Stars. Oh, we do get to go to the RPD. Oh, no, we don't. It's been a while. 
Subway's got to be clear of the city by now. Damn it. Along with your hot date. Nah, she's not like that. No, she's not like anybody. You don't even know her, dude. Oh shit, is this gonna be the playable Carlos segment? Fuck. Right. Keep your head screwed on, Romeo. This is the police station. You sure? It looks like a cemetery to me. So they changed, they changed that as well. Okay, interesting. Also, how crazy is that? I'll turn my sound effects down to half, volume at full for the voice. And whenever there's a sound effect, like an explosion, bow, whenever there's a voice, hey guys, we're just whispering over here. I don't know what it, if it's just me or if you guys experience that as well, but goddamn, voice volume always gets shafted in these games. Um, especially when I'm trying to record it, usually I just wouldn't even care because obviously I can hear everything just fine. But then when you're recording a game, it's such a different ball game. You know what I mean? Sucks. Um, so playable Carlos segment, I believe, in Resident Evil Three, the original game was tied to the. It was tied to the gas station, right? We had to do a bunch of stuff at the gas station and um, with Carlos, I think. So they've also changed this. So we're actually going to the RPD with a guy called Tyrell. Interesting. All right. I'm going to play around with some settings. Um, so I'm going to fix that and then we'll proceed. The beginning of Resident Evil 2 Remake, dude. So interesting. Brad, stop! T. Come on. Uh. Not you too. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. Oh no, that's how you get bit. No! He fucking hesitated! No! Shit! It's locked! You stay on the door! I got this fucker! Oh fuck, dude! So Brad Brad does end up at fucking RPD for in this one, except in the Carlos segment. Alright. Surely that leg's coming off, right? That... Leave it. Come on. What the fuck? Oh, oh, Chris Redfield, bro. He's done. Chris Redfield punch. Oh, nice. We still get the the ID card. So, like, that's the same from the original. These stars. That could be useful. Damn, so they've rearranged the the scenario so Carlos goes to the RPD instead gets the ID card off of Brad. A card belonging to one of the stars unit, which means I wonder if we'll f still find Jill's ID card in the thing. And then Carlos will go, <laughs> Jill Valentine. <laughs> I fully expect that to happen. Wild. Ah, that's so disappointing that that dude hesitated and then that that's how he got bit. Such a shame. Alright, let's head in. And I guess we'll have a chat to him then. Dude. Don't know, don't care. We got a job to do. Don't know, don't care. If Intel's still worth a damn, then Bard's in the star's office. Let's find him and take him into custody. Custody? I thought this was a rescue. God, I love... Carlos, take a look at this. God, I love this environment, located dude. the star's office. Resident Evil, Resident Evil Two, and its Remember, locations are Bard had just iconic. To darkest secrets. He knows we'll try to keep him under our thumbs. So this search and rescue mission is really more like find and detain. Hmm. Right. Good to know. I'll open the shutter so you can get through. You stay here and find out what's been going on here at the station. Call you if I find anything. Hey. Be careful. Yeah. You too, man. You do, man. Ah, uh, yep. 
item box is also different. Not a shared item box. Okay. Jill. Let's pop in a save. <laughs> oh shit. And this is where, uh, <laughs> and then Mr. X fucking <laughs> shows up early. And he's in this game too, and he chases us around. Area looks clear. Right. Let's see what items that we can find. And we have a smaller inventory space again. Okay, uh, now we have everything, so we just have to go to the star's office. I wonder if this is going to be like a fully like expanded segment now or whether we're just in here for like a brief little hey look it's the RPD obviously I know that we're going through those shutters but I'm just wondering oh, oh, yeah. weird fucking door leave it we're here for bar leave it yeah all right I'll ignore all the other doors because it looks like I think this is must be a very like tunneled experience of the RPD, obviously. Because we're not going to be getting any of them keys. Give me that. How do I... Can I get these boxes out of the way? Hey! Hey! Give me that! How do I get... Get these fucking boxes out of the way. What's going on there? <laughs> can I get over the other side? Oh yeah, I can in the west office. What the hell? ID card security protocols. Each member of the force has been issued an ID card. From now on, the same card will be required to access all storage boxes. Do not lend your card to anyone. Take care in using it. If your card goes missing, report it lost immediately. Uh-huh. <laughs> beep beep. Give me that shit. Nice. And this is why... We took out Brad. Oh shit, are there gonna be liquors in here? <laughs> yep. What the hell was that thing? Yep. <laughs> I was like, we're about to get a liquor right now. Also, just one of the most fucking iconic Resident Evil monsters. Great. And this is the one that uh, Jill, no, sorry, Claire, uh, in RE2, like, grabs and, like, <laughs> like, has a look at. Couldn't have been a zombie. Oh. <laughs> the atmosphere of Resident Evil is just so much better, dude. Uh, Marvin's his name, there you go. Marvin Branagh, I think? That's the dude. The atmosphere of Resident Evil is just insane when it's like an interior. I know that Resident Evil. It's stick around. Um, I know that Resident Evil One is such a beautiful, beautiful experience, especially the Resident Evil One remake, which is largely considered to be. Uh, here we go. Largely considered to be one of the best remakes of a game. Um, but I would really love a Resident Evil 1 remake in this style as well. Like having the original trilogy as like an over the shoulder, uh, an over the shoulder experience. I just think it would be so fucking sick. Because it would just round out that trilogy. You could play the first six Resident Evil games in the third person. Come on, buddy. Get on down. Thanks, Chief. <laughs> you mind just staying down on the ground for me, real quick? Thank you. Oh shit, is there someone else coming? Fuck. I was in the middle of doing a thing. You two. Get down. 
Oh my god. Thank you. Ooh! Fuck you. You shouldn't even be able to get up. You're missing a leg. Fuck that shit. Right. Big warm RPD welcome. <laughs> he says as he just calmly slices these guys. This guy even this guy's not even moving. You'd think that the one who would continue to get up would be this guy. Like a stronger stronger zombie. And the TV's on. Um, where are we? Operation room. Flash grenade. Sick. Okay. T, you copy? There's something real nasty in here. I don't know what it is. Something nasty? All right. I'll take a look with the cameras. Watch your six. They're really building up to that liquor, which is awesome. I know that that's from Resident Evil 2, so I don't have to worry about that. Oh, fuck. Hello. Okay. Um, hold on a minute. Ah, oh, that's that one that goes to the safety deposit room. Okay. Safety deposit room in the west office. Dark room. Let me need to go up the stairs to go to the stars. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Well, I think this is why we got a flash grenade. I forgot that they can do this. Yep. I forgot that they do that. Holy shit. Holy fuck. There's so fucking many of them. Holy shit. Okay, that's a dead end. Don't do that. <gasps> fucking, there's a guy in there. Oh my, dude. Shit. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, there's so fucking many of them. Holy shit. Internal memo. Oh, there's a safe code thing here. Dude, there's so many. Office supply internal relocation note heat resistant three number combination safe. Move to west office. Left nine, right fifteen, left seven. Well, if cameras killed those things, I'd be set. <laughs> Dude, that OG RE2 music though. Absolutely iconic shit. Can I open some of these lockers? Yes. Nice. That's good enough for me, dude. Uh, now we need to quickly run up the stairs before these zombies catch up to us. Carlos, the star's office is up ahead. Copy that. I don't remember seeing this shit on the walls in Resident Evil 2. You can go up another... I don't trust you. I was right not to trust you! Oh shit. I fucking hate this shit. <laughs> he shouldn't have been able to get to me just then. I was backing up. I was backing up in the dick, you piece of fucking garbage. Fuck you. He took me to danger. That man should not have gotten me. Ridiculous. Oh shit. That's a different type of key. A well-worn key. Nice, thank you. Oh, you know what? Maybe it is the one that we need. There you go. What? Oh no. What is the what shit? What is it from um It's definitely that. What is it from Use my Resident Evil 2 brain. <laughs> it was so long ago now. What was that other one? There's no fucking way that I'm gonna recall that's that safe code. Uh that 
passcode. Shit. I hate that. I think there's a V in there somewhere. You get the feeling there'd be a V in there somewhere. Oh, for fuck's sake. Why is it blocked? Gotta go through the shower room. Ah, uh, I have a prediction for this room. In Resident Evil 2, <laughs> you get you get jump scared by a zombie in that locker. I have a feeling that that zombie will be alive. Just a small feeling. Oh, I can't even open it. Never mind. Never mind. I thought that there was going to be like a, a thing where I would have to kill it. Nice. And then, so Carlos is the one to blow this up. The electronic gadget. Okay. Guess we'll be doing this the explodey way. Guess we'll be doing this the explodey way. Wait, I'm confused. Oh, I need the fucking... I need a battery. Alright. Um... Which means that key... Which means... Locked door. I have to... Ah, oh, the locked door for the safety deposit room. Okay. And there will, I guess... How did I miss this? Note to a friend. Hector, if you're reading this, I'm already dead. If you hear any noises coming from the locker, do not open it, please. <laughs> While you're out on patrol, I focused on finding a way to get to the other side. I realized the explosives might be our best bet. I managed to rig up a pretty good bomb, but we don't have any batteries for the detonator. I'm pretty sure I sent one to the safety deposit room during intake last week. We need that battery if we're going to knock this wall down, so I headed upstairs, since you know I have the safety deposit room key. As soon as I left the shower room, I was attacked. One of them bit me. I washed the wound as best I could, but I feel worse and worse. I hope I don't need to spell out why you must not open the locker. Please don't worry about me. Just get yourself out of here as fast as you can. Your buddy, Wes. Don't worry about that $600 I let you. Think of it as a gift towards your upcoming move. Good luck, buddy. God. Um, okay. Oh, shit. Well, now we have to go through here, but we do have a flash grenade. Look at this full squad. Just two for now. Dude, you just sped up. I saw that shit. Fuck you. Come on. Give me those legs. Give me the Give me those fucking legs, bro. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. You still going? Fuck you. Stop stop doing it. Stop. <laughs> Fucking bobblehead. What does that dude think he's doing? Calling for help? Fuck you. Oh, you fucking... You would. You would. Stop it. You chill the fuck out. You chill the fuck out. And you chill the fuck out. Alright, we're good. <laughs> oh, the flash grenade! Shit, I'm fucking this up. I'm dead. The flash grenade, chief! Never mind. God, that's horrifying. That's fucking horrifying. <laughs> Hey, flash grenade in the mouth, dude. Is there like a reaction command for that? Because um, I, 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 it looks like it, I was holding. It popped up with it. I think I have to press the. I think I have to press a button though. Maybe I. I was pressing R B, and I think I should have been pressing the right trigger, and maybe that would have worked. I think I fucked it up. No, there's no V. Is there a V? I 
feel like there's a V. There isn't a V. Don't I don't remember that sucks. All right, uh, off to go do this again. Uh, so after you read the note, apparently you can open the the locker. Better not. Okay. No, <laughs> you get the optional dialogue. Okay. <laughs> okay. Guess okay. This the explodey way. The explodey way. All right, boy. <laughs> so you, you can check out the locker, but you you choose to ignore it. All right. So we got a flash grenade. Should save that for the liquor. But we've got a party down here. See, I'm going. Should I go for the legs or should I go for the head to actually take him out? That guy just turned around and ran. Got this gun. Oh, and another one. Alright, he's dead. You're alive. Oh, 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 oh. He's dead. Fuck off. Fuck off. You dead? Now nah, you're still alive. Fuck's sake. Can't trust these fucking guys. Man. You dead? Dead now? Dead now? Dead now? Dead now? Good. Now you. Are you dead? Okay. You're dead. Alright, there's gonna be a liquor. Now, question. Should I put the grenade in its mouth when it jumps me? Or throw it first? I don't know. There you go. Reload, 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 reload. Yeah, that's what I fucking thought. Piece of shit. You still alive? Okay. Fuck you. And this guy is left over at the end of the day. Fuck you. Ooh, you fall over. You fall over. You fall over, boy. Get sliced, son. Get sliced, because I wasted all of my sorrowful ammo on a fucking liquor. Get out of my life. All right. How we doing? Just fine. Just fine. Okay. Let's open up this guy. Let's get ourselves a battery. That's the only use for the key. Oh, DCM. DC. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Fuck's sake. Alright, hold on. I'll be back. Let me go open that locker. I see your head bobbing. Look at that shit. DCM. You got this, Carlos. Um, and there's another dude in there. I guess we just need to quickly get our battery. DCM. Nice. So, it's just canon that in Resident Evil 3, Carlos opens these lockers instead. It's the most important canon questions, guys. Who opened the lockers in RPD, really? keeping you up at night. Alright, now this dude, I'm gonna try and see if I can just run him around in circles. 
might be able to. Oh no, he's gonna bust out instead. Um, what's the best way to do this? Also, I think there's items for me to get in this area. Hold on. Nothing in there. Ah, down there. There he is. This thing. Bam. Okay. Can I perfectly dodge you? No! Fuck you, game. I pressed the dodge button. He didn't even react. Fuck's sake. Alright. That's what our first aid spray is for. Alright. Uh, we can only use the one. Oh, 101's open. 104 for the battery. 106. 109. Nice. There's no weapon in the... Interesting. No weapon in there. Okay. 10, what was it? 104? For the battery? 106? Nice. And 109, please. Can I get 109, please? Thank you. Get that battery. Give me this fucking shit. Hurry up, because there's a dude coming up my ass. Phrasing. <laughs> Yeesh. Come on, let's go. Let's leave. Alright. Um, back upstairs we go, dude. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> All right. We do have. Ah! Fuck. Jesus. Where did he come from? Carlos, I've hit a dead end with the terminal here. Got to head your way. Copy that. Uh, there's one guy, there's one zombie that you might have to worry about. Okay. Detonator! Chuck it on, boy. Let's go. God, gotta move. <clears throat> Got aim. We did it. Oh, hello. Oh, fuck. That's what this bad boy's for. <laughs> Quick think. Wait a fucking minute. What? That's a fucking joke. What the fuck just happened here? Oh, fuck off. What just happened? Is there any world in which you can mash the A button and successfully push them off? Because I feel like it's only really happened to me once. One at a time, take a number. Dude! Oh my god. How the fuck did the grenade not do anything to, like, most of those people? Oh, Stars! Fuck you! Dickhead. You fucking piece of shit. You fucking piece of shit. Man, it sucks to be popular. God, I hate zombies, man. I feel you, Carlos. God damn it. This Fuck. Again. Fuck the... No, what do you mean this asshole again? And I got stuck on the door. Fuck this fucking shit, man. First time... When is... In, in a world where there is a... In a world where zombies fucking exist, count me out of it, dude. Count me fucking out of it. I don't want to borrow this shit. I'm done when this shit happens. Fuck you. Get down from there. Oh, you fucker. I don't have... You fucking piece of shit. I have two bullets. <laughs> I have two bullets. And now I have 22 bullets. Two liquors. Fuck you. Okay. 
That shower room has an item in it that I haven't picked up yet. What else is in here? What am I missing? What else is in here? Oh, is it it? It must be back there. What? Strange. I've opened the cabinet, like the lockers that I was allowed to. Alright, I've missed something in that room. Okay. Let me in here, please. Dr. Bard. Oh, thank God. Do you know how long I've been trying to reach somebody? Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of there. Just tell me where you are. I'm trapped in a goddamn hospital, surrounded by every kind of abomination. Look, just send in stars. They're gonna know what to do. No, negative. RPD's overrun, too. Then figure it out! Umbrella's gone crazy. They're killing all the researchers. I am the only one who knows how to make the vaccine to stop the zombies. So you can either sit there with your dick in your hand or send, send somebody who's capable of getting me the hell out of here. I like him already. <laughs> yeah, you would. You heard what he said. And we can't turn him over to the company. Well, that's not our call to make. That's Mihail's call. I'm gonna check the computer, see if I can trace the doc's location. Hmm. This will take some time. Look around, see if you can find anything you useful. I can also the point of an item box is Carlos, man. You run out of shit so quickly anyway. <laughs> I don't even need to put shit in there. Oh, this is open. Hello. Interesting. This card is coming in handy, like, right away. So I wonder if we do end up getting... Maybe we don't end up getting Jill's card uh, in the locker room. That's uh, exclusive to the original, I guess. And then, just if you're good enough to get Brad's card off him, you get some bonus shit. Is that Jill in the front row? Yeah. Jill in the front row, um, Barry in the top right, with Chris. Wesker's in the top middle. Um, good squad. Good team. Report on the mansion incident. The bizarre incident occurred in a mansion owned by the Umbrella Corporation located in the Arclay Mountains. On July 23rd, Stars Bravo team was dispatched to the Arclay Mountains to investigate a series of mysterious and grisly murders and went unexpectedly radio silent. On July 24th, Alpha team was dispatched as well and became entangled in the events of the nearby mansion. The incident culminated in the destruction of the mansion. Casualties were numerous. The only survivors were five members of Stars. The cause of the incident was the illegal bioweapon experiments being carried out in a secret umbrella lab beneath the mansion. The T-virus being used in those experiments escaped the facility and is presumed to be the root cause of all that occurred. However, all evidence was destroyed along with the mansion, so further investigation has proven to be extremely difficult. Alright, Chief. I've searched the whole room. Now what? We search Wesker's desk like 50 times. Do I just leave now? I'm out of here. Goodbye. Yeah, what's up? Derailed. Was anyone hurt? Jill? Ah, oh, shit. Wait, what? Jill! Jill, what happened? Jill, come in! T, I gotta go. Do what you gotta. I'll take care of Bard. 4.43 AM. And now we switch, so now we see like 
time changes. And now we'll be back with Jill, right? Yep, several minutes earlier. Okay, I see. I see what you do in game. You're a superstar, Jill. You can survive train derailments. Because you're a badass. I expect nothing less from stars. Let's get to a safe location, shall we? Oh, look, a safe location. Nice. <laughs> Carlos? Come in. Carlos? Oh, damn it. I guess I'm out of range. Uh, we'll keep trying. Mine rounds. Uh, flies to its target using its own propulsion system. Detonates after a short period of time or if approached. Okay. New weaponry. Good news, limp dicks. I've got some new weaponry for you that's guaranteed to put the brass back in your sacks. They're called mine rounds. These babies were developed by Umbrella's military R&D, and they will light your fires even hotter than the lover you left back home. They're tough to find and tricky to handle, but trust me, they're worth it. All right, let's take a look at the specs. Mine rounds are designed for standard issue grenade launchers. Don't get cute and try to load them in anything else. Fire them at walls or in the ground and they'll stay right where you put them. The sensor in the mine will detect anything approaching, detect approaching enemies and detonate when they get within range. So basically just toss them in an enemy's path and you've got yourself a landmine. There's no such thing as unfair when you're taking on those giant freaks. So get out there and fight dirty. Alright, we got some mine rounds. Um, got one of those feelings that we're probably going to need to use our grenade launcher then. So I'll, I'll take it out. Um, eh. Hang on. Let's have a look here. So what are we packing? Six, oh, we're packing flame rounds. All right, let's load it with mine rounds. Then maybe put those away. Um, I don't want to make the call yet on whether or not I should have two to three weapons, but I think maybe that's what we'll we'll rock with for now. We've got three full heals, one in the item box, and we're packing heat. So that's good. We'll save our game here, and I think with that one, guys, we'll bring this episode of Resident Evil 3 Remake to a close. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, we got to experience uh, Carlos's perspective, uh, but yeah, obviously seeing different sequence of events play out, which is very, like, it's interesting um, in comparison to Resident Evil 2 Remake, and I kind of like that I don't know how things are going to play out around the corner and what's going to be, uh, what's going to be different. Uh, so it's uh, definitely doesn't help that I, you know, there are parts that I'm like, am I remembering this right about the the game when you play through a remake because you're trying to like rediscover that original experience, but it's um it's definitely a an interesting and new experience, which I really like. So, thank you so much for watching this episode and I'll see you next time.